guys welcome back to a new vlog welcome to my channel if you're new here hi my name is sharon we do lifestyle vlogs on this channel and today i'm starting a weekend vlog it's a friday i'm heading to the saloon i begged earlier that made me late so now i'm just trying to rush i'm supposed to be at the saloon by nine i can make it but because of traffic i think it's just, i think it's around 20 past eight so i just need you know a few more minutes to get there before my hairdresser gets there so that i can get someone to undo my braids that makes sense so um, today is going to be a little bit of a maintenance day i'm gonna do my hair do my nails try and see if i can go to ruby lynn studios to get my eyebrows threaded guys i'm not doing lashes anymore i i don't <laughs> i say this a lot and then i go back and get lashes i just don't think don't think it's for me i like when you squint your eyes or maybe it's because of the person who's been doing my lashes and also just the admin of taking them out sometimes and then you go you have to go and get either or it's just a lot of admin i don't have the time for it and the patience for it so today we're going to do nails eyebrows and hair so let's go this weekend my help is not around so that's why i'm doing all of these things today so that i can have some time with the kids between saturday and sunday this is our outfits of the day everything is mr price brown sandals from mr price bag from mr price uh dress is from mr price i have not eaten and i know it's a bad idea but i have to go i have to go moments later i just got back home when i tell you the day that i had at some point sadly the devil tried me the devil tried me the devil tried me but i was just like you know what it's okay e i went to the saloon um my saloon is great unfortunately as you can tell <laughs> by the size of those breads it took longer than i had anticipated because remember i always go to the sometimes not always last time i undid my braids which i rarely do because i just feel like it's a lot of work Riley and his friends are playing outside so today they had to undo the braids wash and then do these braids it took a bit of time i think the time at nine and around i want to say quarter past 12 we're done which is i think is okay for 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 for, for braids the size so it was a 9 10 11 12 3 hours and by the time i was done i was tired the lady who does my nails panda pays about my quarter past 12 mind you i was tired she was not yet there i was like you know what i'm just gonna go home so i left so from the saloon i went to construction i think at this point that don't go obsessed in too much china shoot to about construction but last time in the previous vlog i did a haul for kitchen items and just home items so there's also an opposite shop which if you remember the kids clothes like bottoms and jackets so um, 
ah that's where i went and i got myself some t-shirts because lately i've been finding myself wearing a lot of my husband's t-shirts and my pants or leggings or even skirts like i'm just more comfortable in t-shirts i think i like that sort of style so i was like you know what let me buy myself some t-shirts but here is the catch i i want to tell you tomorrow i'm going to show max this t-shirt and let you know what he thinks he's probably going to want also to get his t-shirts also if you're in another end if you're interested go to the shop guys especially if you have kids like they i think they actually have received new stock because when i got there there were a lot of nice things in and i feel like as a boy mom i struggle to find nice clothes for my kids so walking in there finding like nice trendy pieces going for like five dollars checks are going for six dollars it was just you know nice but i didn't have budget for that i had budget for myself because remember today was supposed to be a maintenance day so i didn't want to spend money that's meant for my upkeep buying people clothes however i ended up buying myself clothes but that's okay i've been wanting to do this i've been wanting to get some t-shirts so the first one that i got is this one it's in size large because i want to have that big oversized feel um this one was going for five dollars and i think it's decent to wear with like my black pants and then i do the sambas or i can do I have another pair of sneakers that that is the same colors like this so i thought that was a good idea and then i also got this one i think this one is a different cut um slightly bigger though both are size large this is what it looks like i know max is going to want this so this is going for six dollars because it's obviously if you were to touch both the fabrics this one has a better quality i don't know how i feel about the print on the front but it's fine i think i can work with it what i wanted was just a good quality t-shirt one thing about cheap t-shirts you wash it at the back here you see the color coming out and you know you made the wrong decision so i got this t-shirt the total was 11 dollars and then i threw away my other old bonnet because so because of this new hairstyle i struggle so i think bonnet is just going to make sense so for now um i don't have anything that's planned for today or anything that's going to be interesting for you guys all i want to do is go and pour myself a glass of wine and chill but i don't have wine i only have hunter's gold it's okay i'll just it's actually one bottle of hunter's gold but anyway let me do that i think i'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow tomorrow that hope my four the whole of today it's no news to you guys if my helper is not here i am just fully invested in making sure that this house is fully functional fully functional but anyway <laughs> We are now heading out and I just remembered that I need to continue the vlog. But before I continue the vlog, I realized that yesterday, even at the flu at the at the saloon, I didn't vlog that much because I had like I mentioned the devil tried me, it threw me off balance. So I ended up not vlogging um for the most part yesterday. And then what happened? I just came back home and then like I said, spend the rest of the morning home also today. So right now we're about to take the kids out. We're gonna try and find a new place to take them probably at cosmopolitan because i've seen that they have like um games and there's like a good play area there so for 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 change of scenario we could have gone to st thomas but i think for change of scenario we're gonna try something new i know this is going to cost me more because most of the games you have to pay for but anyway let's go i need to close the curtains because we're gonna come back Kwashiba, and then what else let me show you my outfit. I'm wearing the t-shirt, one of the t-shirts that I got yesterday. Thank you. 
And the provider took in at the bar me. Slam the door I messed up on the bedroom floor What the hell do we do this for? I push you up but you come back That attraction we can't fight that Ready? Okay. Okay. So we got back home, I think about an hour ago. So on our way here, the kids were already falling asleep because they were tired. So I put them to sleep and then chilled for a second. And then I just came on here to do a review for the restaurant that we went to. So I've been there twice before, but the first time I went there with Max, 
we checked out the place it wasn't the vibe that we were looking for i don't know if you guys remember that vlog and then the second time i was with faye and him akoti we went there where did we go there I think we were also just checking the place out. I'm not sure, but I don't remember us sitting or buying anything. And then today was the third time going there. So going there today made me realize, oh, well, this is something I've already, in, I've known for a while. I think for most restaurants in Harare, it's not fair to do the fuse in the first two months because the staff is getting used to the environment. It's a new job for a lot of them. The owners, it can be easy operating a business in Zimbabwe. The chefs, I'm assuming also it's their first time cooking maybe food in large portions, under pressure. So you have to give room. I think it's only fair to do a restaurant interviews. If you've been to a place, I think two or three times. And I'm learning that now. Because when I went on TikTok and I see, uh, I, guys, I always go on TikTok for reviews, if you don't know this, food, clothes, accommodation, anything, I'll go on TikTok and I'll read the comments. And for most comments that I've seen on TikTok, everybody was just saying that place is aesthetics, 10 out of 10, but the food, not so much. But my reviews are in the car owner when the restaurant had it just launched so i think it's only fair to say restaurants and you know the staff and the owners they need time before you can do like a fair a fair balanced review because today when i tell you it was so much fun uh the concept is there are shops within the 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 the, 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 um, the complex and then there's a restaurant and then there are also like games that you can play so with the games the cheapest game you're going to find is for a dollar but my game is a dollar they are for toddlers five and under do my games under done and then from two dollars three dollars five dollars six dollars all ages you can find something that you like um max and riley played on the bike i tried to get a door i felt dismally i felt like that one in my lights guys before i knew it the game was over but anyway next time i'll know better but also that game is so expensive so i don't know if i'm even willing to do it but anyway it was fun it was fun what i'll say is if you're going to go there especially with kids no one ever knowing so budget say maybe 10 15 dollars pay Pay, pay kid so that they can yet to enjoy themselves um like i say most games they cost from a dollar to six dollars so depending on what you prefer or what your kids prefer that's a good place to start so you need a budget for the games you can go and play the games and you don't have to eat in the restaurant so because the entrances there's a different entrance you can use go to the bar area buy your tokens play your games and leave that's what we were going to do actually but i was just like why are we going back home there's nothing at home we can chill here so that's why we ended up having dinner in the restaurant now the food i ordered a chicken schnitzel and jollof rice and some steamed veggies and a small little green salad portions great the um, food itself i'd say seven eight out of ten because it wasn't like wow i'm gonna come back and eat this but i'll also come back and eat it like it was nice um i don't know how to explain this the food was not bad at all i don't know i don't know if i just get it i don't know my experience is i don't understand but even riley's burger was nice the food itself if you're going to go there you find a beggar for eight dollars, seven dollars, um, and then if you want the more, you know, I don't know how to call it, but just today as basic like your jollof fries with chicken, um, your Mediterranean inspired dishes, Asian inspired dishes. They do all of that. Like the menu is quite broad, so you have options. I'd say. If you're on a tight, 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 tight budget and you're just going there for the food, I think $15, you can eat your cottage chicken and chips and go. Or you can eat your burger and chips. You'll be fine. You'll still be left with change. 
at 15 dollars but me personally when i go to restaurants i want to have the full experience i want the cocktails i want i want anything on the me so i got that's why i got the jollof jollof was going for 18 dollars and then i got um cocktails i got first i got cosmopolitan cocktail which is okay i can't say it was well it is fine my cocktails are under eight dollars juices are thirty dollars then your normal cocks uh fizzy drinks are two dollars so if you're willing to spend a little bit more i'll say 30 to 40 dollars per person is fair excluding the gains i hope this detailed review made sense to some of you but no now go in and go and check out the place i would highly recommend i'm gonna go back especially for the games um i think it's something different and uh even riley enjoyed it when we were leaving we didn't want to leave but anyway i came on here to do this review tomorrow is a sunday we're gonna go to my sister's house and then come back home by the time i come back home my helper should be back around four five end of day two so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow good morning guys welcome back to a sunday in the vlog i'm off to in this house guys harare today is cold like <laughs> so my outfit's nice that will be side because it's just too cold but anyway let's go see wendy and then we're gonna come back i don't have any plans for today besides just coming back to chill at home okay i'm being cold let's go Hi. 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 Hi, Aka. Hi. How are you? Hi, Mama. Yes. Come. Let's do a hug. Hi. Hi. Come on. If you ever get this weed bump on your hand, you need to remove it immediately. But how do you get rid of it? But before, if you have small hands, like and subscribe. So we got back from my sister's house. Right now, it's my half two, three. Uh, I'm here to sign off this vlog here because I don't think I'm gonna be doing anything with vlogging today. This is what my weekend looked like. I might cook later, but we we'll just see how the day is going to go. Ezra is down for his afternoon nap. Riley is playing, so I thought it might be a good time for me to finish the editing for this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it um i hope you enjoyed spending the weekend with me make sure that you're subscribed give this video a big thumbs up and i'll the see guy you I thought, now i'm beating you at your own yeah if i got a dollar for every time you slam the door i would be the richest girl alive, alive.